It's a while since we've had an episode of Unboxed Tragedy, but here it is. Let's unbox this glorious uh, constant temperature coaster that is self-regulating, apparently. It's not self-regulating. I've tested it. Oh, I've just suddenly realised I didn't print off that picture. Uh, oh, not to worry. I can, I can do that. So here it is. The reason there's a big scuff mark in the middle of it is because uh, I've tested this. Let me plug this into the hoppy. Then I shall actually go and get that picture printed off so we can take a look at the thumb readout. But in the meantime, I plug it in and it shows about 19.4 watts. And the little flickery red indicator goes on. I guess that's an LED and resistor. It might be a neon. I think it's an LED. And this starts getting hot. And it gets hot and it gets hot. It went up to approximately 155 degrees Celsius uh, and that's when I put a thermocouple on it and uh, the th all the paint started coming off. Also, when you put your back your fingers on, you can feel a slight vzzz off it. That's interesting. So I was originally expecting this power rating, 19 watt or so, to actually progressively drop. I thought it was going to be a PTC heater. It's not. It's just a fixed heater. So is that just resistors taped to the back of this panel or, or glued? Let's find out. Let's take it apart. But before I do that, I'm going to go and grab that picture that I mentioned. One moment, please. Okay, got the picture. Uh, very distinct hot spot there, 156 degrees Celsius. It's toasty hot. It does come with warnings about heat, and to be fair, it is designed to keep your drink warm, so that makes sense, I suppose. The hot plastic smell wasn't so comfortable. Uh, this was the original listing. Um, they have put the price up since I purchased it. They put the price up of everything like that. Uh, more than 10 available, one sold. Yeah, it was me that bought it. Don't really recommend buying them. Uh, but a 220 volt cup mug warmer, automatic constant temperature heating coaster heater. Let's open it up. I shall get the hoppy out of the way and we shall explore its marvellous circuitry. There is a sense of foreboding at what's going to be in here. I should be used to this now. Oh, it's good. Air vents on the back, well, smoke vents, really. There's a wee hole here, I'm not sure what that's for. It's, uh, it has uh, wires visible through it. I did, of course, buy it in pink because, well, I was expecting it to be less than safe and, well, it's got to be pink if it's dangerous, just for extra drama. Ooh, the anticipation... Oh, is it clipped together? I may need to spudge. I may need to spudge it open. I'll put it next to this rather big plastic sprue. There we go. What do we have? Okay, let's get closer to this, shall we? Let's get closer so we can see things better. I shall focus on this convenient big divot out the paint. We have tin foil. Oh, tin foil that looks as though it may have shriveled. Oh, okay. It is just heating tape that they've stuck onto tape to stick it in place. And then they've put the foil over it. Um, there is a modest attempt at guiding the cable. There is a strain relief here that they've just not used. Uh, I can see what looks like a tiny little resistor in series with the uh, the LED. This will oh, this will be just across the mains. Oh, all the little wire nut things have popped off. Oh, the the murettes and what we call them wire nuts in the UK. Don't really use them. They're not they're available here, but not standard. It does have the wee wire spring. I'm just going to try this for springiness right now. Mm -hmm. Spring it? No, uh, not springy. So what value is that resistor in there? It's an 8 watt resistor, which is only rated for, oh, 150 volts tops. So it's going to be seeing sort of pretty much mains voltage peak 350 volts DC since they're rated in that. Let's uh, pair this back and see if we can get the meter in and measure that resistor. Oh, that is quite tight sleeve. What's the value going to be? I'm going to estimate it's going to be in the region in the 200k range.
So I want to get a connection onto here. Let's just pair this away with a knife, in fact. And we'll work out the dissipation. These LEDs, the red LEDs, if there's no diode, they will actually they conduct in reverse as well. They just basically avalanche. They don't light. It's not ideal for the LED, but it's what they do. It's cheap. It's an LED uh, in series with a resistor slapped across the mains. You find that a lot in some of the industrial indicators. Well, not the proper industrial indicators. The cheap chinese industrial indicators. Let me see if I can get onto this copper, well, copper-esque material. And uh, keep my fingers out of the way from those terminals so it doesn't skew the result. Have I managed to connect? hundred and sixty K. Okay. So assuming the LED avalanches, let's work out the dissipation of that resistor. Um, and avalanche at a low voltage, there's only about two volts the forward direction, 240 volts as it is, divided by 160k is a current of just 1.5 milliamps through the uh, through the LED times the 240, the dissipation of that little resistor is 0.36, which is about twice its rating. It's actually not too bad compared to what they usually are. But there is a chance that after a while that little resistor will bake in there and then go pop and then blow something. But that's what we have. It's a very thin aluminium tray with uh, this heater tape stuck onto it. What's the resistance of the heater tape? Just out of interest, this is where I can just slap it on these. I can slap it on the pins. It doesn't really matter. The LED isn't even going to get involved in this. Let's go for the 20k range here. Bring the meter where it can be seen. Three Roughly 3K, 3,000 ohms. Okay. So, yeah, this is actually, you know what, let's go further. Let's take the LED, LED, let's take the resistive tape apart. So I shall slide this sleeve off and see how is it terminated, because I would expect this to be a sort of wound, um, ew, is it supposed to be brown and spludgy there? Or is that where the, uh, adhesive has been burning. It's possibly where the adhesive has been burning. It's not really rated for that sort of temperature. So I would guess that this is this going to be carbon fiber tape. Um, I shall try and open this up. Let's just cut it. It's a different resistance now. Oh, I see a very very fine. Oh, that's the fiberglassy type stuff. Let's get the wire stripper in. It's mostly silicon with a, what I'm guessing is a fiberglass core with a little wire wrapped around it. Oh, it is. The wire, you can't even see the wire. So it's a bunch of uh, strands of fiberglass with a very fine wire wrapped around it. Let's see if I can actually strip this so it actually shows the... Uh, May not be able to do this. Does it show at all? Yeah, there's a couple of bundles of the fiberglass. One of them has the wire wrapped round it. You're not going to see this because it is like fuse grade wire, but it is wrapped round that. And I guess that ultimately when they get to the end, they fold the wire back across the silicon and then just crimp it in. Hmm, messy. Not sure how reliable that would be, but the heater wires do seem to be a common thing. Uh, so that is it. Uh, I don't really recommend this. It's the usual plastic tat. It makes me think that gets so hot that uh, there is a risk of the plastic kind of melting. I, I really was hoping for a PTC thermistor to be stuck to the back of this, something that's going to self-regulate, but it doesn't. Interesting. It certainly does get hot. I'm just not sure how long it would last. But there we go. It is very typical of what we've come to expect from products like this. The construction that is designed for a high speed output. Um, if the insulation did fail, and they do seem to have taken effort to silicon sleeve cable, it's silicon sleeving over that. They, if it did fail, it could potentially make this plate live. And I think your cup's potentially going to remove a lot of this paint over time. But uh, it's not a huge risk. So semi-acceptable for use, but not really a good choice in general.